What's happening guys and welcome to the Greed Feed. Now today I've got a bit of a different video for you guys. Um, I've actually been tagged in a uh, what they call different hats video um, by the wonderful Super Sarah. So if you guys aren't familiar with Sarah, I've talked about it before on my channel, but I'll link her, her channel down in the description for you guys. Uh, it's Super Sarah's stuff. Uh, she does a lot of like Funko, um, just kind of like geeky, nerdy kind of stuff. Um, so if you guys like my content, make sure to check her out. Um, but I've been tagged in this different hats video where I'm going to answer five questions that have been given and then tag three other people to then kind of follow the chain along. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have three people, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But we'll wait and see, guys. But let's get right into the video today and smash these questions out, shall we? So the first question we have is your favorite lunchbox as a kid. So this one I kind of re remember really well. Um, I had like one of those really boring black plastic lunch boxes it just it literally was just like a lunch box that i it was just a plastic container that i just put all my stuff in um and i remember being really jealous because there were like lots of kids that had like those like segmented lunch boxes where they had like a little perfect place to put their sandwich and somewhere to put their apple and stuff like that and i remember being really jealous of that and um my mom went and bought me this lunch box that it was, it was like those, but it wasn't as fancy. So the, like the lid actually had compartments. So it came with like a little water bottle that you could fill up. And so mum used to freeze it for me and then put it in my lunchbox. So to keep my lunch cool. So if I had chicken or ham or something on my sandwich, it wouldn't go bad by the time I, had, I got to it at lunch. And then it also uh, had like a little, two different compartments that so you could put like, I think mum used to put fruit and something else in there. And then obviously the lunchbox part. Um, but I remember it like so specifically because it was, it was green and black and I absolutely loved it. Um, it was my favorite lunchbox until one day I left it at school. It fell out of my lunch bag and yeah, I never got it back. Um, but yeah, kind of a, a random question. I never even thought to think of, of a lunchbox, but as soon as I, I heard that question, I knew exactly, exactly which one it was. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my favorite lunchbox, I guess, as a kid. So question two, guys, uh, typewriter or computer? Now this one's a really easy one for me. Um, so I'm only 23. I always have to think about that. Once you get past like 21, it's just all downhill from there, guys. Um, so I'm only 23. So for me, typewriters were never really around. They were like, we had a typewriter when I was a kid, but it was kind of like, it collected dust and was occasionally used to like write really formal letters. Um, but that kind of got chucked in the trash pretty early on from most of my memories as a child. We had a, some kind of computer. My dad always worked in IT. So we had that kind of level up, I guess. Um, but we always had a computer. I mean, I'm a generation that grew up in kind of what I like to call the perfect age where we were introduced to technology, but technology didn't revolve around us. If you look at the generation growing up at the moment, they're just, they have technology everywhere, you know. You see babies with iPads. That, uh, to me, that's insane. Um, but it's just a different generational thing. And the generation that came before me didn't grow up with the technology that my generation grew up with. So, um, I, I grew up with a computer. I know how to use a computer very well. Um, and yeah, so for me, like, I really like typewriters. I think there's something like really cool and, uh, I guess classical without sounding really old um, about a typewriter. I, I love like the little like sounds that it makes and the little ka-ching when you push the fucking, I don't even know what it's called, the thing across. Um, that's really cool. But in terms of practicality, computer, two thumbs up from me, Ch completely changed the game. Um, but yeah, nah, gotta, gotta be computer over typewriter, that's for sure. Now number three, that is, this is a really, Really difficult one for a few different reasons. So, uh, name two of my favorite frozen foods. The reason it's difficult is because I don't eat a lot of frozen food. Um, where pretty much how how I like eat and stuff, it's majority fresh and fresh is really readily available. So there's no real reason to buy frozen food. Um, having said that, obviously we have some frozen stuff. But if I buy frozen stuff, it's usually things like ice cream and ice blocks. Um, 
I mean, I guess they count as frozen food, but it doesn't really because it's like it's it's food. It just happens to be frozen. It's not a frozen version of food. Um, so if I had to pick like two favorites, um, it's really hard to be honest. Uh, I'd probably say like chicken nuggets. Um, I don't mind don't mind the good old frozen chicken nugget. Um, I mean, they're chicken nuggets. Uh, you you can't go wrong with chicken nuggets, can you? Um, and for a second one, I'd probably have to say pizza, um, just because it's just easy. I, I haven't, I mean, you can't go wrong with pizza either. Uh, so pizza and chicken nuggets, my two favorite frozen foods, that is for sure. Now, number four, guys, is leads me kind of on from the frozen foods one. Uh, number four is your favorite junk food and why you wouldn't mind eating it forever. And that for me, guys... Number one spot, without a doubt, goes to pizza. Where do I get started on why pizza is my favorite junk food? Well, to, for starters, I had it last night, um, but it's so versatile. I mean, I know it sounds really stupid, but you can put so many different things on pizza. You know, meat, meat lovers pizza, you can just have a cheese pizza. You can have a vegetarian pizza. You can have a fucking Mexican pizza if you want to, if that's, you know, the way you want to swing, you can do that. Um... It's just so versatile and it's it's so delicious. I love pizza. Pizza is like the best thing ever. And as for why I wouldn't mind eating it forever, if if I have to choose a food, it's like I, like I said before, it's it's versatile. It's I can put different toppings on it every night, so I can still kind of change it up a bit. But at the same time, I don't think I'd ever really get sick of eating it because it's delicious. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my reasonings for number four, guys. And the last but certainly not least, although it's such an American question, uh, beanie or ball cap? Now, I look kind of stupid in beanies. I kind of look stupid in caps as well. Um, but I definitely, it's probably like an 80-20 on, uh, on the cap as opposed to the beanie. Uh, I don't wear beanies a lot, not just because they look stupid on my head, but because I live in a fucking tropical climate. So... I think it gets down below 20 degrees like twice a year in Brisbane. Um, I'm, I'm exaggerating that, of course. We do have a winter. It's just not really winter, to be honest. Uh, but definitely caps 100% of the way. Uh, I wear wear caps all the time. Um, I say all the time. I'm not like a, I don't wear them every day kind of person. But if I go out and about and I'm like I'm spending all day outside, I'll definitely grab a cap. I'm even wear them inside sometimes because I'm a douchebag. Um, no, I wear, I wear them if I got like if my hair's just not cooperating with me. Um, I'll wear a cap and kind of hide that mess. But caps definitely 100% over beanies for me. And that is it for this video today, guys. Like I said, just a really short video. Um, now in terms of the tags, I don't really have anyone I can tag. Uh, oh, I do have one person I can tag. Doug from Geek Acres. If you're watching this, Doug. Sorry, buddy, but you got to do this as well. Um, so I'll chuck Doug's information down in the description for you guys as well if you haven't heard about him. Um, but yeah, some really interesting questions there, uh, like especially like the one with the typewriter. I was just like, why, why would I like a typewriter? That's so impractical. But that is it for me today, guys. As always, if you're new here to the Green Feed, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Uh, I greatly appreciate all my new subscribers if you are new here. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, and yeah, just make sure you keep watching for more content. Hopefully I can get some stuff out to you guys soon.